Hi, my name is Bray Moreno, and we are from Fullerton, California. Um, this is our beautiful daughter, Mia, and my husband, Nelson, will speak in just a minute. When Mia was only six weeks old, we noticed she was sweating a lot. And it was like a bad dream. It was surreal. When my wife and I um, left the room, um, so I could start the first placement, uh, Mia looked fine. 20 minutes later, uh, we were in the waiting room, and uh, the head nurse uh, came in and told us that um, Mia's heart had collapsed. Mia barely survived. To this day, we still can see the marks left on her chest because of the compressions. And after some testing, she was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. We now know that not only was she sedated twice, but she was also over sedated. Because of this medical negligence, she will require constant professional and home care, and also expensive specialized equipment for the rest of her life. We haven't yet had our trial against the, uh, the medical providers, but unless the compensation cap from 1975 is changed, Mia will not be able to recover more than $250,000, all for her she she has lost in the quality of her life. Let that sink in for a moment. $250,000 compared to what she's going through and she will go through. <laughs> Mia deserves better. So we're here today to do what's right, which is to propose and support this Fairness for Injured Patients Act so that the jury and no politicians in Mia's case, for instance, can decide what is fair compensation for everything has, Mia has lost. Support the Fairness for Injured Patients Act. Thank you.